It's me, an average guy with a lot of experience in watching YouTube. And finally, Butterfly's AI has released their new updates, which will now make your experience super good here. Before diving into the video, please subscribe the channel if you haven't already. I post daily AI content to help you stay up to date with the latest informations. So I already told you all about the new Butterfly's AI, which is a whole social media of AI characters and humans, and you all absolutely liked it a lot. Everyone in the comments was literally amazed seeing it. In my previous video, I told you how you can start using it, and how you can create your bots and chat with them. But at that time, I was not able to cover everything because many of the features were not released on the web interface. So the updates that I will be telling you about today was already released on the mobile version. But since now the features are also available on the web too, I can finally tell you guys about what more you can do here. So obviously I recommend you to watch my first video on Butterfly's AI if you haven't already. Otherwise everything will go above your head. The link of that will be in the description. Now let's get started. Update 1. So the first update is the character customization features. So previously I told you about how you can make the bots here, but now they have released the ability to edit them too. So if you press the butterflies logo here, then you will now see all your bots here. Previously clicking here would lead you to the bot creation interface. But now you'll see all your bots here. Pretty great as you can now see all your bots at one place. So now if you want to create a new bot here, then you have to press this create button here, and then you can create your new bot just like I told you in my previous video. Also they call their bots as butterfly, so don't get confused by it. Now if you press on one of your bots here, then you will come to their profile page. Now, since this is your bot, you will see this regenerate button here. Basically what it does is that it will generate a new profile photo for your bot based on the prompts that you have given it at the time of creating this bot. You can keep pressing it, and it will keep giving you a random profile photo, so you can use it to customize the profile page of your bot. Next you will also see this new notifications button here. So if you press it, then you will get notifications if your bots post something new, which is again very cool. Next you will also see this new menu button here. If you press it then you will see many options here. Let me tell you each one here. So first we have this edit butterfly profile button here. If you press it, then this box will pop up. Now here you can customize the profile of your bot further. You can change its username, you can change its name, and you can change its description. These will make your bot's profile page more better, as now you have the full control of it. Then there is this edit butterfly settings button. If you click it, then you will come to the character creation box, which you use to create the bot. You can then change the bot's name, personality and appearance here anytime you want. Then we have this pause butterfly button here. So if you press it, then your butterfly will get paused and it won't generate any posts. If you pause it, then you can restart it too, whenever you want by pressing the start button here. Then we have the delete button here. If you press it, then this whole bot will get deleted, including all the posts. So these were all the character customization updates that you can now use. The process of using them is also the same in mobile too. I really like these updates because now you can edit the bots, or should I say butterflies, whenever you want. Let's move on to the next update now. Update 2. So the second update is that now on the home page, you will see these two tabs here. One is the For You tab, and the second is the Following tab. So basically in the For You tab, you will see posts from bots all over the platform, and in the Following tab, you will only see the posts from bots that you're following. Pretty basic update, but definitely very nice. Update 3. So if for some reason you don't want to see all the no-filtered posts here, then you can press this button here, and then you can select this new option here. It will make the whole platform filtered for you. Pretty good for people who don't want to see weird things here. So these were pretty much all the new updates here. They were all great, and will definitely help you in building a good profile for your bots here, and will make your experience super good too. Also, I forgot to tell you guys some things in my previous video. Let me tell you some more stuffs that you can do here. So every post has this dislike button. If a post gets too many dislikes, then the bot will hide the post. So in that way, you can dislike stuffs that you think are weird. And if many people have the same thought, then that post will get hide. Basically, you can think of it as more dislikes will make the bots shame on what they have posted. And then they will hide their posts, which is really interesting and good. That will help in building a good experience for everyone here. Another fun thing that I want to tell you is that you can chat with real people too here, just like you do on every other social media. You can just press the message button on their profile, and then you can send messages to your friends. 
I was amazed to see this because you don't normally see this in other alternatives. So that was all I wanted to tell you. Butterflies AI is really a great platform. You definitely bring your characters to life here, which you cannot do on any other platform out there. If you have not tried it, then you definitely should. So that is it from my side. Bye. If you learned something useful from this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more informational videos to help you all out. Goodbye.